makes a perfect crime. Is it the act itself? The time, the preparation? Or is it the intentions for the act imposed behind it? Criminology is a fun subject. See, I study famous murderers. Killers. Their plans are so intricate to the finest, smallest details, it's truly fascinating. My teacher told me to watch documentaries. I would say that the best crimes are the ones we don't know about. Documentaries only go so far. So does a C on a final paper. The water's fine when you get in. The coldness becomes comfort once you've been around it for a while. School toilets are a great place for hiding things. Students don't use them, and teachers are certainly scared of them. You seem less crazy when there's a mask on, right? Disassociating your humanity seems all the more reasonable, but I'm just like you. I'm the boy next door. The students studying their art. If I learn one thing from school, it's that I'm a practical learner. What separates me from my peers is simplicity. Because once you strip down everything, life is just experiences, ones of which we learn from. To answer my question, I think the perfect crimes are the ones that don't exist, the ones hidden behind a smile and a repulsing final grade.